Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sam Katie 4 and welcome to The Captain, a mishmash of genres, really. They've got old school point and click, what we all know I love. We've got choice based decisions, what I enjoy. And we've got turn-based strategy combat, what I also do enjoy. So, you know what, when I read that I thought, let's see how they've mashed it together in this sci-fi adventure. And see what we've got. So, let's start a brand new story. The year 2255, space is finally conquered by humans as transwarp technology makes it possible to reach distant stars. In the centuries to come, humans discover they are not alone in the universe. Earth reaches out and a collaborative star space fleet between the neighbouring systems is founded. An age of peace and prosperity follows and space fleet thrives as its foundation. But all is not well in the galaxy. Far from Earth, the space and space fleet borders, dark plans are taking shape. A distant organization known as the Union feels threatened by the rapid expansion of space fleet. And in April of 3383, they declared war. Soon thereafter, Space Fleet learns that the Union has launched its entire fleet towards Earth. Together with the fleet, they are bringing an entirely new weapon. The Sun Blaster. Designed to kill stars, it could end all life on Earth in the blink of an eye. Deep in the Utah desert, a new technology is secretly being developed. The Energy Disruptor Electro Pulse U Station, or simply Oedipus, used at the right moment, Oedipus could disable the entire enemy armada and ensure an immediate and complete victory for Space Fleet. To work, Oedipus needs to be charged by an extremely sophisticated and powerful fuel cell. One of these cells takes years to craft and prepare. For safety and security reasons, they are only developed at the distant and secret deep space station, Epsilon. A plan is formed to use the Epsilon station's experimental space fold technology to transport all three existing fuel cells back to Earth. On Earth, Captain Thomas T. Welmu is enjoying a vacation with his family. As a space fleet scientist specializing in space fold technology, he's asked to participate in the transport mission of the fuel cells. Mission day. The elite space fleet science is present orbiting Earth. Captain Welmu is tasked with analyzing the space anomaly gate as the crucial space fold transport takes place. At first, everything seems to be going as planned. But suddenly, a flash of light. Starting up. Um, okay. What what happened? Ship, my head. Ship, respond. No power. Power spike must have released the residual circuit circuit breaker again. Okay. Jeff, do you hear me? Guess not. I have to get back there and reset the main fuel. And why the hell am I so hungry? Okay. So, right. So, as I say, the point and click part of the adventure. So, let's get going, shall we? And see. Okay. So, there's our ship. 
Okay, I can't go up and down, but I can go side to side. Fine. Right. And... Won't work without power. Okay. So... I'm guessing... Picking up a crowbar. In this introduction, you are guided through your next road by sparkling dots. Alright, so basically for now, just follow the sparkly dots. So I've got you. And... Now, okay, there we go, there's a sparkly dot, okay, open, elevator please, okay, thank you very much, and while we're here, okay, I'll do that in a minute, let's open the lab door, can you do that for me, might as well open everything up if we can, No. Okay. Um, repair. You currently don't have the latest serving droid in update installed. Okay, so we can't repair anything. Fine. Let's have a look. small hatch. Accelerate hatch isn't designed to be opened. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Right. I know, I know. Play. Ooh. Suicide pill, okay. Um, I wonder. Well, you know what? We're going to have to just see if he'll take it. <laughs> okay, crowbar works. Okay, and it's broke. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. If I was to say... No, I won't let me use it. Drat! Never mind. Right. Biochair. Okay. Ooh, an arcade game. Let's have a nosy. Vintage collection edition of Floatball. I love this game, and I love that Space Fleet command. Let me install it. I'll never get old. Fine. And Circuit Breaker. Okay, just pull the Circuit Breaker. Okay, start up, initialize, memory, stand by. Okay. Are you okay there, Shippy? Oh, great. We've named the ship Shippy. Sorry to ask, but what happened? I don't know. About to witness the transport mission complete when we... Well, I must have fainted because I don't remember anything else. Internal power grid shut down, so I had to do manual reset. Last thing my senses detected was frequency variation build up from the jump gate. Did we get the fuel cells? I don't know. All my systems seem to be down. I need to do a system reset. This will take some time. I need Jeff. I could help do him. Uh, yeah. He could help me do a recalibration of the mainframe. Not seeing him. Do you know where he is? Afraid not. Internal scanning systems non operational. Okay, contact him via the bracelet. Lovely, I've got a bracelet I can use to contact Jeff. Where are you? What's happening? I'm trapped inside the shuttle bay with shuttle. Great, we've caught some great names. We've called the ship Shitty. Eh, Shippy. And uh, Shitty's a completely different series we're doing. Um, we've got a shuttle called... Sh great, yeah. That you should all. I don't believe this, Jeff. Listen to me. Tell me exactly what he's doing. He keeps turning off the lights, and he continues to sound the whole breach alarm. What's that? Please, Captain, get me out of it. Shut all. Stop it. Please tell Shut to turn on the lights. Just wait here, little friend. Right. We need to go and find Jeff. So now we can talk to Shut all. Ooh. Is Jeff with you in the shuttle bay? He he, yes he is. He prayed in here like he owned the lower decks claiming to inspect the bay doors. As if my bay doors would need inspection. Well, okay. Something went wrong during the transport of the fuel cells. Perhaps the doors got jammed somehow, just the thought. Stop scaring Jeff, will you? You know he's easily scared. Yeah, that has been tested and confirmed. So let's all act professional this moment, I can leave no such guarantee. Damn it, Shuttle. I'm coming down there, if you say so. 
Right, okay. Let's get down to Shuttle Bay then. There you are. Right. Hey, Shuttle, can you open the door? Is that you? Yes, it's me. What door might you be referring to? The door to you. You have locked it from the inside, just open it. Don't act stupid. In my case, it is an act at least. Easy there, I'm working on it. I was sure my hydraulics were acting up. It's about time to get rid of the little intruder. Anyway, but for future knowledge, I don't like your minions sneaking around all over my bed. Open the door and let Jeff out. Okay, thank you. Sure wouldn't let me out. Well, he is a bit different. You should discipline him, Captain. I got really intimidated in there. Well, to be honest, Jeff, even though he shouldn't be teasing the crew, you are still a member of Space Fleet. Therefore, one could expect you to... Hmm, how should I put this? Not be afraid of the dark? I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of what's in it. Okay, buddy. I'll talk to Shot later. I'll try to be stronger in the future. Wipe off that hydraulic oil leakage and be proud you survived yet another visit to the shuttle bay. I overheard the ship is having problems. Yet, yeah, we seem to have an incident with the transport. We should get the ship back in ship shape before anything else. I need to get back to my workstation. I'll come with you. Okay. Now, let's see. Checking systems. Looks like we have a short circuit in the lab. But I'll have to wait. I have to stay here and finish recalibrating the ship. I can take care of the lab problem. That'd be great. I guess the door of the lab isn't working. I'll just unlock the hatch for the maintenance tunnels. Ooh, maintenance tunnels. Lovely. We all like climbing through maintenance tunnels. I sent you the details on your info pad. Okay. So, info pad. My reminders. Fix short circuit in the lab. Okay. And we've got two years and a day to get back to Earth. Fine. And what have we got here? Stitch, eh, ship status, space fleet. Oh, information on them. Inf okay, it's so just information on different things. Fine. Right, in that case, let's get into the hatch. Thank you. Okay. And into the lab. Yes, I'm following your little things. Okay. Lovely. Ooh, test tube rack. Just because it says to click on the door, I'm not gonna, doesn't mean I'm not going to do other things first. Okay, can I pick? I'll take one of them. Place a test tube if it needs to heat. Okay. Put the sink. Fire alarm. Ship's elevator will be shut down during fire. Use crawl spaces for shipwide access. Detect smoke. Okay. What have we got here? Let's have a look. Plastic material commonly used for patching up spaceships after a hull breach. Okay, I'm guessing we're going to need to make some of that. So, alkaline al acid with any kind of metal. Wait for the metal to dissolve and cool down the solution fast. That then heat to 85 degrees. Okay. Fine. Oh. Go back. And what are you? Highly volatile subset used for high energy prosthetics. Extensive smoke development. Okay. Mix acid spore and tubital heat to 100 degrees and wait. Okay. And what? Dromium. High energy substance used as a power source in many space fleet manufactured droid units. And space stations, okay. Melt tilium about three thousand. Pour water into the heated tilium and run. Okay. 
Fine. And Studge, what have we got in there? Tubital. Dragonol. Spore Acid. Some paper. Some piece of paper with a number on it. Not sure what it's doing here. Okay, we'll have a look at it in a minute. And Antidote Base. Oh, great. Is there going to be a... Are we going to get poisoned at some point? Five. Well, that is everything there and a piece of paper with a number five on it okay all right well we've got all that right now we'll use the door i think i found the problem to the door there are some disconnected cables all right easy fix good you can fix it yourself beautiful okay the door should work now good job ship's in good condition I've just finished analysing the surrounding. Okay, could you please come to the cockpit? All right. Let's just head over. And report, Captain, with the reservation that my senses might have gone completely off the rail. Something really unexpected has occurred. We're no longer orbiting Earth. Well, I didn't think Earth looked like a weird glowy blue blob, but you know, it, it, something could have happened. We're not even in the right sector. Where are we? My senses tell me we are currently in the outer regions. Not the outer rim, the outer regions. We've got to be careful. We almost slipped up with um, copyright with Space Fleet. <clears throat> the outer regions. You mean where the transport originated from? <clears throat> Even further away. Somehow we must have entered the gateway and the transport took place. How is it possible? Unclear. There must have been a vortex anomaly along the DEC2 aligners or something uncalibrated. Captain. I'm detecting massive energy buildup from the wormhole. If you want to try and return through it, we should go as soon as possible. Okay, let's see if we can get through it. Program to warn you, this is an unknown procedure and there's no evidence it will work. Take us in. Oh, and wouldn't you know it, we were too slow. The wormhole disappeared, we were too slow. Okay. It's as if it was never there. It's not all. The transport mission failed. None of the three fuel cells managed to reach Earth. My short range sensors can detect all three of them scattered around this sector. Okay. Earth defense requires a minimum of one of those cells to stop the sun blast there. Looks like we're out of options here. We need to grab at least one fuel cell ourselves and rush back to Earth before it's too late. Show me where your sensors picked up the lost fuel cells. Okay. Okay, on three planetary bodies. So we've got you there, you there, and you there. Okay. Just got updated to a salvage expedition. Any ideas how to proceed? Not that far from Space Station Epsilon. The transport station that tried to send the fuel cells. Yep, the very same. It's located over here. One logic action would be to investigate what went wrong during the transport mission. Okay. Tell me again, show me again. Is there anything else we can do? I've calculated all known variables. I am unsuccessful in producing any other variable options. Outside help. Space Fleet has no allies not already involved. Perhaps I could pick up some tech and people ready to help on the way home. Not enough evidence to support that. Okay. I've mapped all known civilizations on the map for you. Thank you. Right, let's get moving. And there we go. Tutorial mission is over. And as I understand, yep, um, you get a card at the end of each mission. And you can just select that to skip it next playthrough and come out with that ending. Yep. There are multiple endings to each mission as well. So we'll just have to see what we get. Okay, Captain. I've detected an emergency signal from one of the planets where a fuel cell was located. 
I guess you should check that out. Actually, you have to check that out. According to Space Fleet regulations, emergency signals should always be investigated immediately. Show me on the map. Okay, where are we going? Ah, okay, so the nearest planet. Okay, oops. Right, and Captain, what do you want, Jeff? I'm finished with activating the ship now. All systems should be in working condition. Thank you. Right. Okay, so... Captain, yes, ship. I was just scanning through my internal log. It doesn't look like you've tried out the new battle simulator yet. No, I haven't. I'm a scientist, not a warrior. I just want to remind you of your current situation. We are in the outer regions. There are a lot of dangerous groups out here that wouldn't think twice about hurting you. The battle simulator might have been installed as a preparation for the war, but could just as well be used as a precaution for any hostile environment. I could guide you through it. All right, fine, we might as well. Sounds like something I should do. We might as well test out the battle system in case we um, run into anyone. Okay, this is the battle simulation. Here you can try out equipment and new tactics without it affecting anything in reality. I know it looks real, but everything is just simulated pixels and code. Let's attack that simulated enemy ship. Wait, press on the attack icon close to the enemy ship to choose lasers. And choose lasers. Okay. Enemy? That's the enemy ship. So... Oh, come on. No, 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 no. That should be me. No, I'm on the... I should be on the left. Oh, God. This is all backwards. Okay. Laser burst. Fine. All done. Now, let's just end our round. Oh, okay. So, we attack at the same time. We forgot to defend against enemy fire. We took a bit of damage that you can see on the health bar. The damage also increased my internal stress level stated on the lower bar. If the health reaches zero or stress level reaches 100, I will not stay assembled anymore. So let's defend this time. My engine should be able to protect against that laser fire. Okay. We don't seem to have enough energy to activate the shields. You now have the option of reducing the shield absorption level and that way lower its energy consumption. But let's do something else instead. First, just exit. Okay. You can see on the energy meter, we don't have enough energy shields. The bar shows us our current energy amount. This number tells us how much energy we have left to spend this round. These are not the same at the moment because your laser action is still active from the last round. You have a couple of options. You could remove the attack action and get more available energy that way. Or you could use one of Jeff's special abilities. Let's do the latter. Okay. Jeff has an ability to call more laser. The icon in the top left corner indicates that we can only use this a limited number of times. However, you don't have to worry about that now. The simulator never uses up real resources from you. Press the card, more energy. Okay. Okay, good job. We now have more energy. It should be enough for both attack and defense at the same time. Remember, simulators can be tried out for new equipment. Okay, fine. So let's just quickly do that and yeah if we click on you it will show us what you plan to do so fire this round nothing next okay fine well we're gonna fire there we go lovely and that oh you're sparkly now so i don't need you now oh i can't actually do anything so i mean i could use jeff again Oh, you know what? Screw it. You might as well. There we go. Let's just use Jeff and fire. Okay. And Jeff, you know what? Once more. Just for, because, you know what? Thank you. Kaboom! Lovely. Sim over. Alright. And yeah, if I wanted to... 
we could change that but you know what no let's just get moving and get to our first planet okay <clears throat> 10 days to get there and yeah a desolate desert planet fine Day 10. Captain, we've arrived at the planet from which the signal originated. Got it. <clears throat> I've pinpointed the correct landing location for both the signal transmission and the fuel cell. Okay. Right, well, let's get the fuel cell first. We might as well. Let's have a see what that's going to be all about. And okay, that's one way to get down to a planet, I guess. Landing complete. And also a fuel cell detected. You found it already. Don't sound surprised. You should know by now I operate on a different level. Just over in the sand. Okay, right, let's uh, have a look. Can we go? No, nothing that way. Fine. Ooh, big rock. Seems to block a potential way up to the shuttle. Okay. Can't do that from there. But there is a steep hill. Okay, steep and slippery. Well, as they are the, that's the only thing I seem to be able to use, I'll just... Whee! Down we go. Lovely. Are you sure you can get back up again? No problem. Just land down here instead. Yeah, that would be the day. What do you mean? Just get down here. Negative. I stand where I land. It says you won't move 10 meters to the right and get me out of here. You set the landing spot up on the ship, and I am standing... Oops, sorry. So, no. Fine. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I can't talk to... Okay, what about shuttle? Any ideas how I should proceed? Told you the fuel cells right there. If I had hands, I'd get it for you. But then again, me with hands would make you pretty obsolete. And you, a freak. Okay, well that's, um, oh, there it is. Thank you. Uh, fuel cell, fine condition. Good, let's grab you. I guess there isn't anything else to do here now. You sure? Oh, wait a minute, impact crater. With the ground being so soft, it actually kind of strange that it didn't drill itself deeper. There's something exposed in the bottom of the crater, okay. What's this? It's in some sort of metal hatch. Did you find something? Yeah. It looks like it. Not that I really care. It's a hatch of some sort. Okay. See, it's a good job we um, had a look around. I've opened the hatch. Um, yeah, do you have any input? What's your risk estimation? Well, let's see. I'm lost in space on a dead planet all by myself. Looking down an alien metal opening buried under the sand. With no obvious way to get help if needed. So, I would estimate the risk to be pretty high. What do you think? Go in. Don't overthink it. Just jump. I don't know why I bother to ask. Right, well, you know what? Let's go. Okay. Okay. Whee! Ooh. Okay. What's this? I can't believe it. This is giving me the shivers. The smelling reminds me of an old attic. Inscriptions are carved into the stone wall. They mean nothing to me. Okay. Blue. Blue button or red button? All right. Um. Hmm. Eh, let's go with the blue button. <coughs> 
Okay. Wonder what those symbols on the wall mean. Oh, okay. So, what was down there? Yeah, I'm not sure. Didn't manage to figure out how it worked, though. Feel obliged to report that the ship detected a very strange signal for a second or two. Subsea signal, but with unknown frequencies. Could the ship draw any conclusion of what it could have been? No, but he could, however, pinpoint its origin. It originates from that hole you just came out of. Okay, let's jump back in again. Oh. Alright, well, whatever the red button does, we're not going to figure it out. Fine, so move the big rock out the way. That was heavy. He found a way back up. Yep, yippee. Alright, well, we've got what we wanted. We pressed the button. Let's get out of here. Right, just a few seconds. Blue. Okay. I'm guessing one of them's going to be red. And one of them's nothing. Because obviously, I don't know, whatever. But, yeah, there was three ways to complete that mission. We've completed it the blue way. Right, fine. We'll wait and see, yeah, um, what that brings us. Okay, welcome back. I can detect that you've obtained one of the lost fuel cells. Congrats. I, strong, str I strongly recommend that you secure the cell right away. Okay. So, put that away then. No issues detected. Good to go. Good. Just secure it on the insertion arm. Fine. There we go. Right, that is you done. And right, let's head back to the cockpit and then down to the second place. Okay, I'm going down to check on the signal. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, and we flush the toilet again and down we go. Landing complete, another filed under P for perfect. Really? It sounded like something broke. Nope, without a hitch, smooth sailing all the way. Don't know, Shuttle. I'm pretty sure I heard a loud bang. A bang? Ha, not from me, you didn't. Is that the power coupling on the ground? What? Where? Oh, you can see that far. Of course I can. Oh, neat. Didn't know that. In that case, I stand corrected. Yeah, why are you lying? I'm just trying to give you relevant information. I'm pretty sure that's relevant information. I'm doing the best I can. So the power coupling outside the window was the bang I heard. Yeah. Okay. Great report there, shuttle. I guess we ain't getting off this planet until I get it fixed. Okay, right, let's try and... Yep, yeah, okay, that signal's still in it. So, wait a minute. Power coupling, pick that up a minute. Okay, so that's not going to work yet. Give it time. Right, what have we got over here? It's a regular old style plug board for power cables. Okay, uh, retractable ladder. Some panel position isn't optimal for maximum power generation. Okay, we need to move that. Space fleet flag, but it's a very old design. Looks like it's been hanging there for a long time. Wall socket. 
Pilot seems to be missing a cable. Okay, so there's another cable I need for you. Okay. Titanium door. Doesn't seem to be powered. I can see some sort of freezer and a lot of boxes inside. All right, fine. And, ah, there we go. Well, that was convenient, wasn't it? Right next to it. Like, nope. Yeah, wall socket, there we go. Um, power cable. Thank you very much. And let's switch them. Ooh, okay, I can't switch them both on. But I can now get up here. Lovely. Thank you. Up you go. And it won't sit by itself. I need to find something to tie it up with. Okay, fine. In that case, let's take that one a minute. Use the ladder and use. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Pull, pick that up. Thank you. And use the power cable to tie it up with. There we go. Okay, now we've got power. Don't need to get up there, so. Take you and put you into the door, and voila, we can get him. Lovely. Oh, okay. Looks like a Space Fleet Engineer uniform. Must be an older version. Okay. Okay, what have we got here? My name is Glacius. I was a junior engineer on the former Space Fleet cargo vessel. Bulkius, when it suddenly crashed, I managed to escape, but I fear my comrades have met their doom. It's been two months now, and my supplies are all gone. I have modified a meat freezer to work as a cryo chamber. I'll use it to wait for the rescue team. It shouldn't take long now. I miss my loved ones. The thought of seeing you again is what keeps me going. If more than 50 years have passed, please don't bother to wake me up. Okay. So, pass 042. Okay, so, meat freezer. It's a big kitchen meat freezer with a human body inside. Can I? I don't think that's you operate it. Someone's modified the freezer display function as an EKG monitor. Okay, so I'm guessing he's okay for now. And draw. Okay, we've got a chip. I'll take that. And let's just use the computer then. Okay, so zero, four, two. And we've got seven messages. All right. Hey, man, long time no see. I heard you were on a cargo run. Still keeping that song girl entertained. Okay. Uh, ooh. Yeah, 989 years ago. I think that's a bit more than the 50. Okay. Since hearing about the attack on your ship three weeks ago, I have been devastated. But now they tell me that the log recorded you escaping the destruction in a pod. That's such good news. If you get this but can't respond, just know we're coming to get you. Hi. I don't know if you get this, but I'll try now. I heard about the accident and that you got lost somehow. I just volunteered to assist in the search for you. So nothing can stop us now from finding you. Well, something did. They couldn't locate the destination of your pod. After weeks of probing, they still can't explain where you went. I'm sure you're still out there. I can feel it. Don't give up. Never give up for job. Hey, Dad. John here. Mum couldn't write what I'm about to, so here it goes. They gave up the search for you yesterday. You're officially dead, Dad. I miss you. This reminds me of the old times. You not getting a chance to respond to my rambles. Dear love, not knowing whether you are dead or alive at this point is tearing me apart. 16 months now. Feels like a lifetime. I have to move on now. I need to focus on what's here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bye, my love. Forever yours. Hi. This will be the last message I sent to your dad. It's been seven years now since you went missing. Mum passed away this summer after some terrible years of illness. 
If you're out there, I hope you're not in pain. Love you. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, fat. That's not good. But then again. Um, okay, well. Let's start the process of getting him out of there then, shall we? Turn it on. Um, what? No, 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 no. No, stop. Okay, I can't do anything. I have no control. Grinding and... Oh. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> I think it's a bit late to stop it now. Yeah, I said that a bit ago. All right. Um... Well, he did say if it was um, over 50 years to not wake him up. So, we're not going to be waking him up. Nicely wrapped meat package. Oh, lovely. Well, we'll take it. Waste not, want not. And, okay, we've got a fox pasta. Maybe we can use that to go back in time. Um, yeah. Right, uh, let's see, what does it say? Neat little package of meat, the label states whole chicken. Yeah, I don't think it's chicken. So, okay, let's, um, let's just get out of here. Okay, and, okay, that seems to have um, stopped now, that's fine. So can we pick it up? Good, good, good. Right, we've got that now. So, what do we... Power coupling, it's missing a chip servo, a flux detector, and a power coil. Well, guess what? We've got the chip, we've got the flux, and there's a power cord right here. So, let's just grab you. Thank you very much. And connect you with you. Done, right. Put you back on the ship. There you go. That's fixed. Right. Let's get out of here. And never speak of this again. Okay. So we are leaving alone. Fine. Yeah. I mean, well, we're not... Technically leaving alone, we are um, leaving some meat, some dubious chicken. Okay, right, we're back, and nope, nobody's going to say anything about that. Fine. Right, so let's just check. Yes, does it? I have no idea what that's going to be for, but, okay, far, no, not. I have no idea what that's going to be for, but fine. And the auto forge is out of order. I believe it's damaged during transport. I'll be able to repair it using a single energy capsule. Okay, where can I get them from? Each way to obtain is simply to buy them from a trade station. Keep in mind, they can be quite expensive here in the outer regions. If you're desperate enough or just out of funds, I'd recommend you lead us into battle. When a ship explodes, it's not uncommon that these things are unharmed and simply just scatter into space. And battle spoilers are free. Okay, fine. Right, and... Ooh, a merchant ship. Okay, let's have a look at you. What are you selling? Energy capsules for 50, okay. Upgrades of 500. Okay. 300 for, ooh, what are you? Energy drink distributor. Enables energy routing to reduce stress levels during battle. Okay. Energy booster enables energy weapons and defense systems to be boosted during battle. Okay. And uh, use to extract the energy from energy capsules. It can be very useful during tough battles and has to quickly gain extra energy. 
Okay. 200 for a star fragment. Okay. And 300 for a laser shield modulator. Allows your laser shield to, to route 30% of the energy absorbed into your energy reserves. If your laser shield gets hit by a laser shot, giving 10 damage, you'll gain 3 energy. Okay. Not really a fragment of a staff. It's just a popping name of a compound made from superheated dromium and hydrogen. In addition, its obvious energy properties. It has historically often been used in different artifacts. Okay. And, okay. I could sell them, but let's not for now. Right. Um... I don't know. We'll uh, leave it for now. And what are you? This planet is the property of AAE. It's currently in ELD mode. <coughs> Be advised to stay clear and avoid contact. Fine. We'll leave that for now. Um, so my could. It's 39 days. But, oh, you know what? Enemies detected. Okay, scouts. Scouts in a corvette. Scouts. Oh, a single scout. You know what? Let's go. Let's have a go. Let's have a proper fight. Why not? Right. Day 26, and, okay, that's a triple. Okay, but what have we got? Double scouts. Where was that? There we go. There's the single one. Yeah, one on one. Let's try that. This area is claimed by Brute Bandreek. By entering his territory, you agree to give him your ship and all your possessions. I'm not giving you anything. Then you are dead. Not really. I'm still pretty much alive. Okay, and um, what are you going to do? You're just putting your shield up for 10. And then next round doing nothing. Well, you know what? In that case, let's just hit you with... Yeah. That. Because... What's that? Five shots around. Five damage per shot. So for 20 NG, 20 damage. That's 10 damage. That will do nicely. There we go. No, it's actually 15 that did. Okay. Oh, I did five, didn't I? Sorry, yeah. And you're doing nothing this round, so you know what? Let's hit you again. And down you go. Lovely. Perfect. Right. And there we go. Three energy capsules. Five scrap metal or ten precious metal. Well, I need the energy, so... Mm, yeah, let's take the energy capsules for now. Thank you. Right, well, that was pretty easy, so let's try... Oh, that's another one on its own. Let's do the same again. Right. Um, okay, you're going to fire this round for 24. Okay, well, let's put my shield up for... You know what? Let's just... 30, might as well. And we'll fire at you. Good. Down you go. Well, not down, but... That's done that. Yeah, I haven't got enough for you. Fire. Oh. I don't have enough to fire, do I? Okay. Fine. Well, in that case, I'll have to just do nothing. But why did I not get any... Extra energy? I don't know, but okay. You're doing nothing this round, and... Okay, you're doing nothing again. Fine. Well, down you go. Oh, I didn't get it because I haven't been to the shop. That's why. Oh, stupid. Right. Never mind that. Right. Um, two more NG. You know what? Let's get the metal because, yeah, metal can be sold. Scrap often used when crafting. Okay, so I'm going to need some of that. So, let's get the precious one first. Fine. 
Okay. That's got a Corvette in it. That's a double scout and that's a treble. Right, let's go with the double one. Let's see how we do against two of them. Okay. Okay, so what are you doing? You're shielding. You're firing. Okay, so we will hit you. And that's 24. Okay, well, let's just put my shields up to full then. That's you stunned. Good. What about you? You're doing nothing. Okay. Let's just remove that. And. Okay. Remove. What? Sorry. What did you see? You're doing nothing. You're stunned. So just increase power. Right. What have we got? You're firing. You're doing nothing. What are you firing at? 24. Okay, let's destroy you. And I can't put you on, but I can take 10. So it's 14 damage I'll take. That's fine. Thank you. That's you destroyed. And remove that. That leaves me with 10. Okay. And you're just going to shield up. So that's fine because I can't attack at the minute. Right, and yeah, nothing this turn. So, fire. There we go. And you're stunned, what's good. Okay, so you're going to do nothing now. And you're going to fire, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to take the damage. Down you go. Okay, I've taken a little bit of damage there. That's okay. And uh, this time, we'll take the scrap. Okay, so there we go. We've got a bit of scrap, a bit of energy, and a bit of thingy. So, oh, come on. You know what? Let's see how we do against three of them. Okay, what have we got going on? You're shielding. You're shielding, and you're shielding. Oh, this is going to be fun. Are they all doing... Yep, right, I'm going to have to hit you. Get rid of one of yours now. Put you there. And I'll do the same again because, yeah, you're doing nothing and so are you. So, go. That's you blown up. Fine. Now, I've got you coming in at 24, you coming in at 24. So... Shields up to full, please. I'm still going to take some damage, but... Yeah, that's okay. Right. Use a shielding up. So, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Boost my shield. What's five energy? That's five. Okay. You've done that now, so that should mean, yeah, you're up to 34 now. You're doing nothing, so attack. Good, that's you stunned. Right, remove that, and you're about to fight, so shield for 10. What's 24? You're going to do 24. Nice. That should mean no damage taken. Thank you. And you're firing. Ah, I've got you out of sync now. Um, okay, okay. I mean, if I do that again, yep, yeah, that's just going to absorb yours. Fine. Okay. Right, nobody should be attacking me now. No, you're shielding. You're doing nothing, so... Fine. But you shield. You do nothing. You're now going to fire at me. Oh. If I do shields now... I'm going to have to do shields twice at 10. That's going to keep me there. Oh. Oh, you shoot. Wait a minute. You're firing. You're doing nothing. 
Screw it, I'm just gonna have to take some damage, aren't I? Okay. Just blow you up. And then just go. F yeah, you're doing nothing there. So you're shielding, and then you're doing nothing. So, fire that. You're stunned. What's good? So that means you're doing nothing now. Wait. And you're about to fire. So, I'm not taking any unnecessary damage here. I'll just wait around. Thank you. You're going to shield up. So, don't need you. I could have probably done this a bit better, but you know. There we go. And blow it up for me, please. Okay. And this time... You know what? Let's get some more... It's 14. Yeah, let's take 14 of them. I'll have you. And there's only one left, a Corvette. How bad can a Corvette be? 36. Okay. Can absorb 10 and it's fire. Shield, nothing. Okay. You are... You're the same as what we've had. Okay. Let's give it a go. Might as well. Okay. So you're going to fire for how much? 36. I'm not going to be able to get all of that, am I? No, 30 is the best because that's now dropped back down. So, okay, 15 for that. And I might as well... Ooh, which one do I want to... No, I'll go after the Corvette. Let's hit the Corvette. Might be able to stun it as well. So, go. No, but... That's fine. Right. Remove. Remove a minute. Let's see. You're doing nothing and you're shielding. So... Let's see. Let's see. You're going to fire next turn. You're going to do nothing next turn. Don't do anything. Okay, right. Shield or oh, I should have been. I should use that to boost me shield power. Never mind. Um, you're gonna do twenty-four. Yeah. Let's hit you. And I'm gonna have to take a little bit of damage. Oh, I haven't got enough energy for it. Okay. Fine. I'll just have to take a bit more damage than I was hoping. Good, you're stunned anyway. Right. Don't need... Yeah, you're going to do nothing this turn. You're just going to shield. And I don't have any energy, so... You know what? I can use this ten times, so... Let's just give myself that ten energy. Fire. you down. Right, let's see what I've got now. You're about to fire. You're going to do nothing, so... Okay. Let's just put my shields up a bit. Yep. Taking quite a bit of damage here. You're going to fire. You're going to shield. Right, I'm going to have to keep my shields up. I'm going to have to get some more energy here. Please help me out. Ah, I've only got 10. That's not good. Nothing. And shields. Oh, a minute. No, fine. Let's do that. Get them a bit stronger while I can. And 15. No, you're 20, not 15. Okay. And nothing's going to be attacking me, so that's fine. That is my shield up. Right, I'm going to take damage again here. So, actually, I might not. 
hit you. That leaves me five. That's going to be 14. I mean, I could upgrade, do it again, but I don't need to. Let's just take some damage off. Thank you. Right, 50 stress and down to 70. Ouch. Okay, I'm going to need to really... Um... Right, what are you? I've only got five. You're going to do 24 damage. A minute. I can absorb 24. Good. Let's do that. Thank you. No damage. You, you can't get through now. So you're going to shield, so turn my shield off, save the energy. You know what, just build me energy up again, you're going to do nothing. Now you're going to fire, so nope, I only need to use a 10. And I can also fire back. Yeah. And you're stunned. Good. Right. Off. Off. Do that. Right. Double check. You're going to put your shields up. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because that should still be enough. Yep. That was lucky. We managed to just about get through that. And. Oh. Do one more. Yep. Let's do that. Because I'm going to be going to the shop in a minute. So, grab you. Captain, just picked up a new ship. Oh! Okay, what are you? Cruiser! Uh, nah, I don't think we're going to be dealing with a cruiser. Let's just, yep. Let's just head down here to the shop. Bye! <laughs> I'm leaving you to it. Alright. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, well, let's have a look. What have you got for me? Well, I know what you've got, but, you know, let's have a look. Sell. Okay, they're only worth 10. I thought they'd be worth more than that, but five. Let's get rid of them. I mean, it's 310 there, so yes. Repair the ship. 260 to repair it, or 20 days. I uh, repair it myself. It's 20 days. There we go. Right. Let's have a look what I can buy. Hmm. Ooh. I can get an energy generator or batch. Ooh. Okay, a minute. Can't get the engine upgrade, but a cord to energy or Battery. Okay. Star fragment. And there's the laser. Oh, so many things I want to buy. Okay, let's get the laser shield because that's going to help me out in fights. Okay. And I might as well get the star fragment because, yeah, I haven't got enough for energy. Any of the other stuff, wait a minute. Enables energy routing to reduce the stress levels. Is that using energy to... Yeah, I think that's what that is. Energy boost. Enables energy weapon and defenses to be boosted during battle. Okay. So, is that... Hmm... Let's see. E capsule. Use such energy from energy capsules. It can be very useful. So use the energy capsules I've got to boost my energy in a fight. But enables energy weapon and defenses to be boosted. You know what? Let's buy it. Let's see what it does. We'll end up in a fight at some point, but you know. I've got 40 left. That'll do. Right, thank you. Have a nice day. I will try. Right, so in that case, let's... 
Okay, I've got a few bits there. Well, let me sell them. That's a shame. Okay. Um, I guess it will come in handy at some point, but I don't know. Oh, is that going to be I me? Mean, everything's level two now. I'm not sure. We'll see when we, if we if and when we get into a fight. Five. You know what? Let's get down here. There was one. Soma. There we go. Yes, it was. 30 days to Soma. Fine. Let's see. We. Oh, we. Oh. Meanwhile, back in the Space Fleet sector. <clears throat> Transit ship Andromeda. Hoffman. Yes, ma'am. Have you seen the latest report from the Ortis? I gave it a glance before we left. Why? Looks like they had some issues with the spooling coils. I noticed. I sent a memo to Lieutenant Panda concerning our expectations from engineering. We need, to, we need the station to perform at peak efficiency ASAP. About that, Commander. Since we will be the point of defense, I recommend that we change the shift rotation upon arrival. Yep, probably for the best. And give the night shift some extra recreational time. In case of an incident, we need them rested. Any news about the transport mission? Nope, the loss of those few cells really is concern. And Thomas, nothing. Could Epsilon Station tell us something? No, it's all just went terribly wrong. I mean, I'm sure he's okay, but he is my husband, and I know him to be a very resourceful man. He'll find his way home. I can feel it. For the moment, I really need you guys to stay focused on your mission. Of course. Union will get a fight they will not soon forget. It looks like we're about to arrive at Ortis soon. Go and get your stuff. And um, we can get in our post, yes, Commander. Short while after. Defence Station, Ortis. <clears throat> Commander, yes, Hoffman. I got some signals that you might find worrying. Send them to me. Station. Hmm. Yeah, I can see what you mean here. It could just be some background noise, I guess. But there is a signal phase in there that almost looks like... Commander! Enemy contact. Shields up. <clears throat> what are they doing here? How did they get through the barrier? Good question. Any signs of activity? Nothing. Hail them. Okay. What's that? The enemy just locked some sort of energy beam onto us. Is it hurting? No, not at the moment, but our shields are losing power fast. We'll be defenseless in less than a minute. Do whatever it takes to keep those shields up. Engineering, I need full power transfer to the shield stat. Yes, Commander. Contact Space Fleet HQ right away. This is General Sarah William, Wilhelm, Commander at Defence Station Ortis. And Admiral Julius Tahe. We've just got surrounded by a squadron of Union fighters. As of 30 seconds ago, we're at red alert. Inside the barrier? How is that possible? We haven't heard a word from barrier control. How did they get through? Unclear. The Union fleet should stick. Oops, stop clicking. We suspect they have been granted access through the Lyman space gate. If this is true, we have a serious situation here, Admiral. We have just confirmed that the enemy ships jump from Lyme sector. They are using the space gate. God damn it, Lyme! Commander, <coughs> how are you holding up out there? They have locked some sort of multi-phase beam onto our shield. They're trying to drain its power and make it shut down. 
How we just managed to stop the drain by shutting down all our non-essential systems and rerouting power to the defense generators. But the beam is still active. I don't know how long we can counter its effects. Send us your data so we can start analyzing the beam. Maybe we can find some way to disrupt this attack. We'll also send you as many fighters as we can spare. We're transmitting all the data as we speak. Hang in there, Commander. Defense station notice out. Hours later. Captain, I've just picked up a distress message from the barrier control. Okay, there we go. Ooh, trade and pay, nice. What does the message say? The Union has launched a full-scale attack on the entire space fleet sector. Now, there's Ortis. There we go. So, we'll go and see our wife on the way past. They've taken over the barrier control station and moved their entire fleet through. Is the Sun Blaster with them? No. It seems to be a preemptive strike to obtain control over the space fleet defense forces. Is there any way to pass through? Not without fight. Fight the Union, no offense, but you're designed for science. You will, of course, have to prepare for such an encounter. I'll need bigger guns and perhaps even a bigger crew for that option to be viable. Any other way through? There's another way in, but it's a high risk option and you'll have to go outside the space fleet regulations. There is an unofficial smuggler's route through the barrier that the authorities fail to get rid of. They're currently operating over in this sector. If you choose this path, be ready to pay a high price. My data is up to date. They are demanding at least three star fragments to let a ship through. Isn't star fragment the base component of our fuel cells? Yep. They're also required if you want to upgrade your weapon and defense systems. So choose carefully how you spend them if you manage to find some. Okay. And how's the defenses? It's not looking good. All major stations are currently under siege and cannot fight back. The Union appears to have developed a new kind of suppressor beam that renders the station helpless. They're all transmitting distress signals requesting help. They need outside force to destroy the Union ships that are shooting the beams. I'm not sure that we're powerful enough to aid them, not in our current state, but there might be an alternate way to help them besides brute force. The space fleets managed to send out a blueprint for a disruptor that can disable the suppressor beams. If the beams go down, the outpost should have an shouldn't have any problems defending the, the siege forces themselves. So if I manage to create this equipment, we should be able to save the outpost without fighting. Well, you'll actually have to create five of them if you want to save all the outposts. One disruptor can only be used one time. However, I must remind you that saving the outpost alone will not save Earth. Our main goal is to get the fuel cell back to Oedipus. Without Oedipus charge, there's nothing that can stop the Sun Blast there. The outpost should remain your secondary objective. I think I know my choices. Now, I'll update the star map with all the recent information for you. Okay, um, so we've got that. Let's carry on. On a ship not too far away from you. Okay. General Everton's battle cruiser. Oh, lovely. Sir? Yes, what is it? I am kind of busy here. Well, we did another scan of the quadrant and... Wait, I'm about to upgrade. Save that thought. Are you okay, Chief? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. In fact, I'm better than okay now. New nose, eh? Not just a new nose, Rob. This is one of the triple nostril type 5 modules we came over last week. Really? I have the capacity of a jacked up bloodhound now. That is great. 
looks good too. The metal in the middle of your face, that is. Did you have anything to report? Yeah, sorry, sir. We found another strange concentration of dromium. Where did this one pop up? Same place as the last one. We will not lose this one, Rob. Yes, sir. No, sir. Well, set an intercept course and intercept. Okay. Right, we finally made it. Day 90. Yes. I have found some strange things about this planet that I want to share with you. My scan showed this planet is highly advanced. There are huge cities all over the surface. And there is probably a chance here to find some new interesting technology. However, the scans show no higher form of life anywhere on the planet. If you decide to go down, I recommend extreme caution. Thanks for the warning. Okay, so... Ooh. Okay, contact. Hello. Initiating communication. Welcome, stranger. Okay, thank you. This is a pre-recorded message. Ah, when you listen to this, all of us will probably have left this system long ago. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused you and wish you better luck on your next destination. From all the former inhabitants of planet Soma. What was that about? Okay, well, you know what? Let's go down and have a look, shall we? Okay, let's just skip flushing the toilet. Okay, so the oat. Okay, um, yeah, I've just got a few more updates. Fine. Right, let's get out and have a nosy around. What happened here? Unclear. This place is enormous and completely abandoned. My sense detect no advanced biological life forms. Where did everyone go? Who built this? Unclear again. Maybe we should take a closer look. Okay. So what have we got? Alien tech. I can't say with any measure of certainty what this is. But if I were to guess, I'd say it's some type of weather station. Whatever it might be. It's not powered. Okay. Well, we've got an elevator, or lift, as it should be called. Let's get down. Mm. All right. And, ooh. Subspace network hub. There's a couple of antennae on the top and a workstation at ground level. Well, let's use the workstation. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna need a chip. I don't have any, no, I didn't bring any chips with me. Shame, could do the chip butty about now. Right, a bander, it looks like a vehicle in desperate need of some old fashioned mechanical love. The surface is covered with a thick and sticky fungus. Okay. It's the entrance to the truck. It's locked, but there is something that looks like a key card sliding next to the door. Okay, well, we're going to need a key card. Ooh, look how tiny I am. Uh, okay, not quite as tiny now. Power control hub. This could be the power supply for the control system over at the ventilation tower. It looks very old and there is some kind of fungus all over the surface. There's a hatch, but I can't open it with my hands. Okay. Vent control. This should be the engine control for those huge air vents on the side of the building. Some sturdy looking shutters covering the controls. No way I can open them. Ooh, okay. This must be the impact location of the fuel cell. It seems to be buried deep into the sand. Okay. I could try and dig through the sand, but, it, but I don't think that would work. The sand's too loose and will keep filling up the hole. Okay. Broken droid. 
It's a droid. He's completely covered in some type of mold. By the looks of it, he's broken down a long time ago. Hey, there's a key card next to the body. I'm taking it. Okay. There's nothing I can do for the droid. Fine. Well, we needed a key card. So that was convenient that it was right there. So let's... There we go. And open and in we go. Okay, hydraulic engine. Looks like it's open the door. I guess this thing wants controlled other systems as well. Okay. Charge station. Battery wrap for charging batteries. Okay, so I'm gonna need a battery. Hello? not activated and ooh, multi tool the tool is stuck I can't budge it I need to get the droid to loosen its iron grip okay hmm sounded like a power build up nothing happened okay let's open the hatch ah okay Easy enough, so pick you up and connect you to there and give you a jump start. There we go. Hi, I'm Thomas. Negative says it executing, com executing conversational protocol so we can talk. Negative recovery that standby. Okay, fine. I'll pick you up then. And there you go. Now it's complete. Okay, morning off world there. Morning, it's well after lunch by now. Time frame re recalculation in progress. Standby. Afternoon established. 32 years passed since the last activation date. Ooh. Okay. I am Straw, a system transfer radio android model W. Okay. What happened here? I find it difficult to form coherent senses. The fungus is still growing. It's already affecting my speech center. Fe feeds on biological tissue and my biological biomechanical circuits. I shut myself down after losing control of my body. The fungus is what you see growing all around you. In fact, it's the only thing growing on this planet now. It starts beneath the ground and fed on organic tissue, consuming everything in its way. Who are you? I'm Thomas. I'm trying to get back home and landed here to receive a lost fuel cell. I understand. Do you need any assistance? Uh, yes. Do you know anything about the giant fans? They were an attempt to keep the fungus at bay. Attempt failed. I've taken your tool. DX5 wrench is removed from hand. It appears I have lost the ability to operate my arm and body. The tool is yours to two. Okay. Where is everybody? Sorry, I'm finding it hard to locate my memory files. If you'd like to act access to my complete memory archive, I need to defrag my core byte file. Okay, be back. Right, let's um, get out of here and now we've got a tool. Let's um, yeah, let's see. So, multi-tool. There we go. Something inside. Okay, there we go. Got ourselves a nice battery. So let's go and charge that up. Okay. And there we go. Right. If you'll excuse me a moment, Mr. Robot. We just need. No. There we go. Charge you up. And perfect. Lovely. Take that. Take it back. Oh. 
complete. If you have any more questions, now's the time. Okay. How are you doing? Not fully functional. on my time left here. It's limited. Can I help? I'm shutting down. My internal systems are infected. Nothing can be done to this body. Yes. Where is everybody? The fathers or the oat? The fathers, the oat? What are you talking about? The fathers were the indigenous biological species on this planet. They lived and flourished here many eons. And then 800 years ago, they all perished. What happened? There's no complete record on how this event occurred, but a sickness started to spread in the form of a fungus. The fungus infected the fathers and damaged their DNA and completely disabled their reproduction systems. Okay. So, no children could be born? Correct. Couldn't they eradicate the fungus? The fathers developed something called, they called the oat, an organic artificial technology. It served as a planet support system and helped them live in peace and harmony. As the reality of the problem drew closer, the fathers removed all oat restrictions and asked it to find a solution. With the oat complete control over all the planet's artificial systems, he started to work on a solution. Time ran out. The last father, aged 96 seasons, died alone somewhere on the ocean west of here. That's sad. I don't know if the oak had the ability to comprehend sadness, but a sense of familiarity went missing from him. Are you the oak? I am. I. Memory files are corrupt. More time is needed. Stand by. Okay. Yep. So let's go and test the battery out. I'm assuming. Now we've got that charged up, that is going to do some, will you look at that, the shutters opened at the ventilation shaft, okay, have a nosy, hmm, looks like it could use some mechanical work and the control chip seems to be totally fried, alright, well, it's a multi-tool, so yep. Yeah. Nicely done. Unknown and broken alien technology ain't that hard to wrap your head around after all. Now all I need is a control chip to replace the fried one. Okay. Well, let's see if we can go and get one. Okay. Now, have you got anything more to say for yourself? Secondary backup restore complete. If any more inquiries are required, now is the time. Are you the oats? Yes and no. I am a part of it at least. While the fathers were still alive, the oat was still confined to the digital world. In circuit boards and power lines as pure AI. Even though this crude oat still was an infant, he still felt a purpose and had a clear goal as a caretaker for the fathers. But with the death of the last father, the oat lost his purpose and point of existence. For the first time, the oat had to motivate himself. How did the oat, uh, yeah, what happened? Well, after the fathers had perished, we thought the fungus had become dormant. Even though we were dependent on biological circuits in our world, we never considered the fungus a threat to us. We never thought it could penetrate our sophisticated circuit shells. We were so wrong. Our biological circuits started to get infected and everything began to shut down. So, you were the last one. No, the core oat was still well prepared for any kind of emergency. Most of the oat fled the planet about 43 years ago. It was decided that some of us would stay behind and fight the fungus. We failed. I'm sorry. I can still feel the purpose of being alive and I have a chance to survive. If I can gain access to the subspace network, I can transfer the essence of me to the core oat again. First, you have to take my control chip out of my skull. Then, you have to bring it to the hub just outside of here. And, could you hurry? I can feel my power draining. I am soon out of time. Okay, so let's grab his chip. 
And look at that, Captain. That chip you're holding is quite the powerhouse. That little thing could be very useful up in the ship. You think so? I know so. It contains Drumium. Right, so I'm guessing I get one use out of this. So it's take it to the ship, use it for the vent, or do the right thing and upload his conscious. I think we're going to do the right thing for this one and upload his consciousness. Good one. Oh, you really think that's the right thing? I knew humans were mentally handicapped, but you sound like you suffered real brain damage. Thanks for the input. No, we made him a promise, and this goes through. Yeah, we're going to stick to it. Okay. Future go throughs, who knows what I might do. But, there you go. Straw chip, in you go. Operator will terminate the chip for security reasons. Of course it's security reasons. Okay, transfer. Done. There we go. Lovely. Incoming message. Thank you, friend. I am home. Straw. And, ooh. The good guys. Oh, I got a good guy thing. Okay. Right. Well, I guess that's it. I'm not getting the power core thing. Never mind. Maybe on a different playthrough. And back up to the ship we go. The oak. Helping hand. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and there we are, back on our ship. And you know what? I think we're going to leave it there for today because, well, as I say, it's quite um, long, this one, actually. Um, there seems to be quite a bit to do. And, uh, yeah, the missions are a bit longer than I was expecting. So, you know what? As I say, I'm going to leave it here for now. It doesn't mean this is the last we've seen of it. We might see this again a bit further down the line. And who knows. I'm going to just see how this video does. And what people's opinion on it. If you'd like to see more of this and continue this run. Let me know. And you know what? I'll find a, sp a spot for it. But other than that, yes. I hope you've enjoyed it. Link in the description below. And if you are watching this on the day of release or in the next couple of days, the game is currently free on Epic. So, yeah, go and grab yourself a copy of it now while you can. If you've come across this later on, well, sorry, but you it will be more than likely full price. But saying that, it's not that expensive at full price. It's about £15, so not exactly cheap, but not exactly AAA prices either. And there looks like there's a lot to do here, and quite a bit of replayability, because, yeah, you're going to have to, um, if you want to complete this 100%, you're going to have to do every mission at least three times. So, yeah, well, um. See how, as I say, this video does, and we will hopefully at some part back there. We'll see how this video goes, and we'll see if we are back with it at some point in the future. But in the meantime, I've been Sankey 84. This has been the Captain. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other, and until next time, goodbye.